Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be heading up to Lafayette Mill, um, which is a pretty big antique area. Um, and they are having an outdoor flea market that happens a few times a year. I'm not exactly sure what their schedule is, but it does happen a few times a year. And one of my vendors and friends, Connie, had suggested us going up and taking a look. So we are headed there today to see what treasures we can find. So before we even got to Lafayette Mill, we actually ran into a barn sale. And this barn sale was benefiting some kind of horse rescue. I am gonna include some information about this particular rescue because they do have this sale several times a year. Um, but as you can see, the prices were awesome. It was a really awesome place that we happened to stumble across. And there was a teeny tiny little spider that just jumped off of one of the salt and pepper sets that was a little frightening, um, but I still continued searching. There was these boxes filled with different types of art and Connie found this beautiful picture um, and it was buy one get one for free I believe, which was crazy. This mirror was stunning. I loved it, but I did not get it. Oh, Lobby, Lobby. Hi, how are you? Just so you know, that's a feral cat. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, there was a ton of horse tack, and that was one of the ways that this particular barn sale was raising money by selling um, saddles and leads. Um, but then they also must have had some kind of form of donations that come in and they had tons of houseware, a lot of glassware, some furniture, and I'm pretty sure I made out really well. Most of the pieces were in the 50 cent range to a dollar range, but there was a ton of stuff. This little set was really cute, but unfortunately one of the pictures did have a pretty decent size uh, chip. And looking at that now, that little wooden thing says measure. When I was there for some reason, I thought it said measles, which I was a little confused about. So this mug set was really cute. It is vintage and I loved it. Little daisies and there's a butterfly on it. They looked in brand new condition because their maker's tag on the bottom did not look moved or disrupted. So I did grab this set and I started a little pile over on the ground here. Um, and yes, I did manage four coffee mugs in one hand. And then I realized there was actually a fifth cup, so I went back for it. Now these cups said something about um, Irish porcelain, and they looked really unique and interesting, and their maker's mark was really pretty. Um, but unfortunately, these did not hold a significant amount of value, at least on eBay. Um, but I did like their colors, so I did still grab them. This little piece was totally something that I would just buy for myself. Um, it was probably from Walmart, but I did put it back. And that's just a hobbyist set of pitcher and creamer, or pitcher and whatever, you know. I definitely should have grabbed these panda bear mugs. Unfortunately, I did not. And that Campbell's soup thing was just a little far-fetched for price. I don't think they're even going for that much on eBay. I have been inundated with milk glass at the shop, so I did pass that milk glass piece. And heading back this way, there was the entire room of horse tack, leads, ropes, saddles, everything. I 
I grabbed this spittoon. Unfortunately, it is cracked. I didn't realize it when I grabbed it, but people still use them for other things, obviously, than just a spittoon. They can use them for a vase or an umbrella stand. These little baskets, some of them were cute, but some of them were also a little smushed. It's funny when you look at film, um, you know, when I'm doing this voiceover, there's so much that I see that I just missed the first time. I didn't even notice it while I was standing there. Um, but, you know, slowing it down and actually looking at this footage, I tend to find things that I'm like, oh, why didn't I grab that? I didn't even see this. And I'm doing that a lot in this video, unfortunately. These fairy type things were all part of, um, can, what is that? Oh, party light. Probably expensive at the time when they were for sale, you know, from the catalog. Um, but I don't think there was much value to them anymore. But there was like a whole set of them. That little Campbell soup cup I actually got from another sale, like maybe a week beforehand. But I did leave that one. That was fun. So we haven't even gotten to Lafayette Mill and we passed a barn sale and Connie and I already spent all of our money, but we're still going. <laughs> <laughs> so we did end up getting to Lafayette finally. And this place was a lot bigger than I had anticipated. I had never been to Lafayette Mill and it is unbelievable. There were so many shops in this little area, plus the outdoor flea market that was going on. So obviously the prices at the outdoor market are a little bit more than the barn sale that we had just gone to because all of these people are resellers. Either they have booths in other locations or they have shops themselves. So I knew this going into it and I was being a little picky on what I was buying because a lot of the items I buy are for resale. I like that table. Oh, look at that funky green. I love it. So I ended up coming across these brass duck head bookends and I've seen other people on Instagram and YouTube have luck selling them. I just didn't think there was a great market for them in my shop so I did leave them behind and they were a little too heavy for me to be comfortable shipping them on eBay. But I'm sure somebody picked them up for a great deal. This set of Mother of Pearl knives was probably something I should have taken a second glance at. And then we found these awesome lamps. Now I told Connie to grab these lamps. I knew that they were Ralph Lauren and they were probably worth a little bit of money. So she grabbed them. Now this particular section is actually my friend Nancy. I've mentioned Nancy before, Nancy Wessel. She has a really awesome Instagram and an amazing sense of style and taste. 
She pairs things together that you just never would think to, and she just does really awesome at it. So she was there at the outdoor market. And then we stumbled across one of the buildings, I guess this is a all, all the time building there, it wasn't just for the outdoor event, um, but this was filled with mid-century modern items. I was overwhelmed and so impressed with the collection that they had for sale in there. Some of the most awesome things I've ever seen were in this building. And as you saw in the center of this room was this immaculate table and chair set. It was stunning. Uh, so the curator of this building had purchased it from its original owner and it had been on a screened in porch for years, always covered with, you know, a patio table cover type thing. Um, so it was in mint condition when they, they got it and brought it to the shop. So yeah, to say I was impressed by this building is an understatement. This building was phenomenal. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh my God. Brick and mortar, the chocolate goat gift shop, black dog books, Old vintage cars going by. Look, mill aside cafe, I already got gotcha. you. The mill. I mean, and there's some over across, more across the street over on that side. We're gonna keep checking out Sheep Thrills. <laughs> this is literally an all day event, but we're gonna try to hit up as much as we could. So we'll see how it goes. So this was Sheep Thrills. It was a two-story little building um, that had furniture, home decor, and it wasn't just the antiques, it was new and old, a really great combination and pairing of the two, uh, but everything was very reasonably priced. It was exciting to see because this could be a spot that I could go to to look for items for resale for my shop. This is only a hundred, Connie. This pie safe is only a hundred dollars. Yes. She's like, what's her shade? Yeah, made in the shade. Yeah, made in the shade. So we went upstairs and upstairs it seemed to be more newer items or crafty items. There were candles, there was an entire collection of Melissa and Doug items. And then I saw these adorable little felt creatures. Now I didn't take much notice as to what exactly these were, but it could have been something that the artist just had a few on display and it was something that you would custom order. There again was a lot of very reasonably priced pieces of furniture upstairs amongst all of the crafty type items. So 
So we decided to go across the street and check out another little shop called Joe's Junk. This one was mostly antiques, collectibles, a really eclectic grouping of random items. Um, but it was really fun. There was a lot of things I've seen before, but there was a lot of things that I had never even knew existed in this shop. So it was a pretty cool place to go walk around and check out. I did run into a few of the other shops um, just to get some idea about their store hours because Lafayette is definitely a place that I'm going to head back to, probably make a video about all the actual shops um, because like I had mentioned there were I believe eight of them in this area. Besides that we didn't even get to really go through the Lafayette Mill which is the center of all these shops. Um, so I'm definitely going to come back another day and film all the shops and make it you know, a whole day event. All right guys, so we just got back to the shop. Um, the store just closed down. It was a little crazy when we got back, so I had to help my mom out. But I just wanna go over real quickly all the great stuff that we got. So we ended up stopping at a few different spots. We ended up stopping at a barn sale, um, and then we went to the Lafayette Mill where they were having their outdoor flea market. And then we did also go through a few of the shops that are attached to Lafayette Mill. Um, the only other place we stopped at was this random place called Barb's Treasures. Never heard of it. It's in Lafayette, New Jersey as well. And it was awesome. They had a very similar store to mine. There was tons of vendors. So we made out really well. So the first group of stuff I'm just going to show you guys is everything that we got from the barn sale. So the first thing was this pretty cool bowl. I'm sure this is like a hobbyist piece. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks more like a hobbyist piece, but it's pretty cool. This types of things sell decent in the store. The next was this little box, and I can imagine that there's some kind of coasters in there, but it's made in Japan, and it's like a lacquer box, I think it's called, and it was really cute, a little hummingbird on it. The next thing was this really adorable turtle pen, just something cheap, why not? This little thing was cheap too. It's a tin little painted flower. I thought it was adorable. Ooh. I picked up these mugs. Now this was an awesome find. They are hand painted and they have butterflies um, and I guess like little daisy flowers. They are all marked um, and I'll show you guys the bottom. But these were in mint condition. There was nothing wrong with them. And there was a set of five for $3 I think for all five. I couldn't say no. We are definitely gonna have some motorcycle traffic again and I apologize. Anyway, I got a little candle snuffer. I got this cute mirror. Some pressed flowers. This little print. These we sell all the time. And this little dish. It's kind of like an ironstone dish. It's pretty decent. I think that's all. Oh, and there's a huge spider in there. That's awesome. All right. So <laughs> we'll put all that stuff back. Oh. oh. And I got a bread box. I think I'm gonna clean this up really well. Um, probably distress it a little bit with like a white um, chalk paint. And I'll probably replace out the handle. It just really needs a, a facelift, so. But a nice piece of wood, $5. All right, and then I got a spittoon. I know that's kind of gross, but <laughs> they sell really well in the shop, so why not? It was marked at one point, but the tie came off. All right, so then we set, we went up to, oh, I also got this sign about teenagers. I didn't even read it, but all I saw was the first few lines, which said, teenagers, tired of being hassled by your stupid parents? Act now, move out, get a job, pay your own bills while you still know everything. And I have a soon to be 15 year old daughter who sometimes knows everything. So I thought this was perfect. 
and she's actually standing behind the camera right now giving me the eye roll so all right this awesome table we got at Lafayette Mill Liv can you see it in the picture it's like a pedestal awesome table I am so it's solid too guys very awesome as you saw in the, oh, as you saw in the video um, there was so much to see at Lafayette Mill I really was overwhelmed <laughs> so the next thing that I got there was this awesome very different rolling pin um, I don't exactly know what it would be made maybe like pastries or something but we do sell a lot of rolling pins in the shop and I figured it was just something different. I've never seen it before. And there is a saying, if you see something that you've never seen before, get it. It's probably worth money. Um, the next thing I got there were these really cute little busts. I think I got three of them actually. Yeah. So I got three of them. I don't think they're vin they're old or vintage or anything, but I thought they were pretty cute. People like to decorate their bedrooms or bathrooms with them. So I grabbed all three. She gave me a deal for all three. All right. Next thing I got from up in Lafayette was this adorable little elf. This is actually for my collection. He's either an elf or a gnome. I collect gnomes. So I figured I'd grab him and put him with my collection. I thought he was adorable. And I was thrilled that they had swizzle sticks. This is another thing that I collect. Um, and these were in a container with a whole bunch of them, but I did take four of them. Um, I do not have any of these colors. I might have that blue one, but I love them. I was so excited. I collect the glass ones and they're getting harder and harder to find. People don't make them anymore and they tend to break you know when you wash them or just handling them they break easy so this is something that i collect all right then we did get those also i i showed you guys um we did end up getting two uh iron pool lounges or patio lounges they were free on the side of the road and Connie and I are still baffled because those things are so expensive and I could not believe that they were free just sitting there. So we crammed them in the car. It was an awesome find. Um, so that was awesome. All right. So then we ended up leaving Lafayette Mill. Um, my camera died. So I couldn't show you guys this other place that we went. It was called Barb's Treasures and they were having a Memorial Day sale. All right. So then I ended up getting really good stuff for um, resale at our store. So I got this little doorstop with the pigs. I thought that was adorable. There's still a string attached to it. Um, this I got from my own house, but my bathroom has bee decor in it. So I thought he was adorable. I got, I got these two car coasters. These are for when your drinks are like sweating or anything. Um, it absorbs it into your cup holder so that your cup holder doesn't get ruined. I got this cute little box. This is something I'm going to keep, but it says, I have no idea what this is, but it says magic and it's something, an additive to bird feed. I'm not 100% sure, but it, uh, maybe it's bird seed. I don't know, but it was an awesome, cute little tin box, uh, tin. So I just figured I'd get it. All right. Then this person had these two pieces. This is, um, it's a company, it's BBP. I'm not 100% sure what it stands for, but I know that these types of pottery pieces, the company, they sell very well. So these were only $6 each with 20% off. So they were like $4 and some change each. That is so cheap. I'm pretty sure on eBay, these go for a lot more. I've already sold some that I've purchased other places. Um, in our own shop for a higher amount and it's because they're worth it. This BBB, BBP brand, which I will have somewhere on the screen <laughs> to show you exactly what it stands for. Um, they sell well. So I got this adorable little bear and then I got this chicken or rooster. All right, then I picked up these. These were 50% off, um, but they're great. They're harvest baskets, but they're also really great if you decorate um, 
you know, boho, or if you have like, sometimes um, people take these and they'll put them on collages up on a wall in their home. And to have rectangle ones along with the very standard round ones that you always find, it just makes a different, you know, adds a little different dimension, I guess, with the decor. So I thought these were awesome and they were 50% off, so I couldn't say no. So I think that was it. Um, can't remember anything else that we got today. Um, but I'd say it was an awesome day. I am definitely going to be going back up to Lafayette Mill. I had no idea that this place had so many shops. And oh, I had one more thing. I got this scoop. I was thinking about this is one of the shops I went into. So and this has some um, markings on it that were pretty cool. So it says TB Davis patent July 28th, 1881 guys can see that if it, you can see it. I don't know if it'll zoom in but I love these types of scoops I'm probably gonna take this home and put it with all my coffee stuff that I have that little coffee bar um, but pretty cool so thank you guys so much for coming along um, I had an awesome day and I also wanted to tell you guys I had an awesome experience two separate people said I watch your YouTube videos and I cried both times because I could not believe that somebody actually recognized me and also you know they said they love my channel so I really appreciate it if you guys haven't subscribed to my videos or my channel yet if you do it helps me out tremendously because I absolutely love making these videos for you guys but in order to keep it going I just need to build my audience so that I see I'm doing something okay or right. So if you guys haven't subscribed already to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys did. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great week.